Greetings fellow interloper. If you clicked on this video, you've probably come across a few of these strange things that you can pick up and put on your bases, right? Known as stabilized reality glitches. Or if you dove into my past videos, you may have noticed an older trophy video I did. Well, as time goes on and the game gets updated, it's not uncommon for planets to change, thus making all of my portal codes useless. So I thought, why not freshen up my trophy video and get current links for everyone looking to collect all 11 trophies? I mean, who doesn't like trophies? Now who's a loser? Well, besides him. Man, what a dick. Now I put these in order of easiest to most challenging to spot, starting with the easiest. And this time I'm actually gonna try to do a list video without accidentally repeating a number. Fingers crossed. First off, coming in at number 11 is the Light Fissure. This is one of my favorite base decorating parts, and it really works well on freighters too. It looks cool in a lot of different colors, and it does incorporate some nice motion. These can be found on planets labeled Fissured, Breached, or Planet of Light. As with all these reality glitches, if you're within about 90 to 100 U away from them, when you look at them with your analysis visor, you'll see a question mark. This tactic isn't really needed for most of these glitches, but it will come in handy as we work down the list to the ones that are harder to spot. So once you're on their planet, light fissures are easily spotted because of their distinctive yellowish lights compared to the surrounding fissures. Also don't forget, most of the time these planets have just one fauna. So once you scan it, you'll get the 250 nanite bonus for scanning all the fauna on one planet. That's pretty easy. Number 10 is super easy to find as well, which is the ossified star. These can look really cool when you change the pulsating light that's inside them. They can be found on planets labeled ossified, petrified, or calcified. And as you glance around, they will stick out like a sore thumb because they're very white, while also having this turquoise inner glow. Number nine is the electric cube. I love the way the red looks on these. You'll find these hanging out on planets labeled shattered, fractured, or fragmented. These may not be as plentiful as our first two, but spotting them is really easy once you know what to look for. These will have a distinctive green tint, which really pops. The capillary shells come in at number eight. The insides of their shells are gonna be hard to miss. They're this bright magenta. And these can be found on planets with names like Bladed, Shell Strewn, or Fend. Number seven is the Glitching Separator. These look awesome in any color and also have a little bounce in their step. They're on planets labeled Columned, Sharded, or Pillared. While it's getting a little more difficult to spot these, it's still pretty easy. When looking around, you'll definitely see that these trophies have much more of an orange hue than the others, which seem to be more of a pale yellow. Number six is the Kalkish Room, another stationary glitch with an adjustable inner light. They're on planets labeled Capped, Sporal, and Fungal. At first, it seems as though they're super hard to spot, but if you keep two things in mind, you'll snag these in no time. First off, look for the ones which are floating. Don't bother with anything that's coming out of the ground. Secondly, they should have a blue curtain of light coming down from their cap, just like these larger ones. So if you find yourself a floating shroom with a blue glow, you've got yourself a new base decoration. Number five is one of the larger trophies and probably the oddest one, given the unmistakable yet creative use of a garden hose. These are stationary, but their interior light is adjustable. Okay, so this is where things get a little more challenging to spot. They're still not too bad, but I think it's more of the fact that they're just spread out a lot more. They'll be much smaller than the others, so hopefully you get your eyes trained to pick them out. Remember, you can always use your visor as well as a mining laser to test them if you happen to be foraging in your exocraft, because anything except a trophy, you'll be able to break down with your mining laser. They live on planets labeled contoured, cabled, or webbed. Number four is the rattlespine. 
they do boast a little bounce, but the only thing you can really change on these, color-wise, is the base. These are on planets labeled Rattling, Spined, or Skeletal. Kind of like the Calcashroom, these are floating in space, and they're fairly small. Generally, it seems like they're spread out a fair bit, so it can be a challenge if you do need a bunch of them. Number three is one I feel like I've seen a lot, yet when I needed to track one down for this video, they're nowhere to be found. These are the Terbium Growths. So on these planets, a bunch of them all hover above the ground, but if you notice, the actual trophies are the ones not spinning. I put them at number three because finding planets that were labeled metallic, metallurgic, or mechanical seemed really hard to find. This, coupled with the sparse scattering on their planets, make them extra challenging to accumulate. Number two is an interesting trophy called the Bubble Cluster. You come across these on, wait for it, bubbling, foaming, or frothing planets. Won't take you too long to realize that looking for bubbles in a sea of bubbles is sort of challenging. Honestly, when I'm collecting these, I'll use my analysis visor a lot. But if you notice, these do have a slight greenish tint to them. So it's not like they're completely hidden. And here we go. Number one, you've probably figured out by now which one I saved, right? I didn't think twice about putting these little assholes at number one. They're super cool looking, don't get me wrong. It's just too bad they're a massive pain to find. The only thing you really have to go on is their size as well as their coloring, which is very hard to see during the day. So, pro tip, make it easy on yourself, fly to the dark side of the planet. Their home planets are labeled scaly, hexagonal, or plated. So back to the coloring. Somewhere on this screen is a hex bush. Any idea where that might be? Maybe you're having a flashback to a nether childhood game? He's right here, by the way. All right, so here's the same photo at night. The idea is to really look for orange versus the pale yellow, similar to the glitching separator, but these are a lot more challenging. So yeah, I'll be using my visor a lot on these planets more than any other, hands down. Besides looking at night, you can try to fly low enough and slow enough for the terrain to load in, but that's even hard because the color differences are lower on their branches, which can be obscured by their tops. But at the end of the day, my go-to option is going hunting for these at night and on foot. I also periodically like to go into camera mode and fly around that way. So there you go, an updated list of all the stabilized reality glitches. So if you want to dress up that new freighter base, there are a lot of cool things you can do with these guys. So thanks for watching everybody and happy hunting. This is Taylor with Whiskey Barrel Gaming. Have an S-Class day guys.